a supervolcano in Europe could be on the brink of eruption. Experts are concerned about the Phlegraean fields in Italy. And in this video, you will learn how high the danger really is and what impact this eruption would have. So, make sure to stick around until the end of the video. If you like it, I would be ecstatic to receive a thumbs up and a comment because that will help the YouTube algorithm show this important topic to more people. Thank you, guys, and welcome. <laughs>I live in Sicily for several months of the year, it's very beautiful, the weather is good, the sea is right outside the door, and the food tastes absolutely exquisite. But it would be bad if a supervolcano were to erupt in southern Italy soon. I'm talking about the Phlegraean fields. Here on YouTube, you often hear about another supervolcano, namely Yellowstone in the USA. However, we also have one in Europe, and it's naturally much more threatening to us. The Phlegraean Fields, or Campi Phlegri in Italian, stretch over an area of more than 150 square kilometers and are located in close proximity to Naples, where I actually was a few weeks ago. They are known not only for their beauty and thermal springs but also for their strong volcanic activity. In fact, this area is classified as one of the most dangerous supervolcanoes on Earth. It quickly becomes clear why the Phlegraean Fields host 50 eruption centers, and they share the enormous magma chamber deep below the Earth's surface, at a depth of 10 kilometers, with the famous Vesuvius. During my visit to Naples, I was at Mount Vesuvius, and you can truly feel the tremendous power that slumbers beneath the Earth's surface. Write in the comments if you have also been to Naples and Mount Vesuvius and which other volcanoes you may have seen. I highly recommend a trip to Naples, if only for the delicious pizza Napolitana. The magma chamber of the Phlegraean fields is just as well fed as I am. In the past, there have been many catastrophic eruptions here, most notably the eruption of Vesuvius in 79 AD, which destroyed the city of Pompeii. Most people died from the pyroclastic cloud, a dense and hot cloud of gases, ash, rock fragments, and volcanic matter that swept over the city during the eruption. But although Vesuvius and the Phlegraean fields share a magma chamber, they are separate volcanic structures. The activity of the Phlegraean fields has also caused destruction in the past. For example, in 1538, one of the most violent eruptions occurred, almost completely destroying the city of Pozzuoli and resulting in the deaths of thousands of people in the entire Naples region. But even in recent history, there have been earthquakes. And all of this clearly indicates that we are dealing with a ticking time bomb under southern Italy, in the truest sense of the word. At some point, there will be another violent eruption, the question is not if but when. Even the latest scientific findings can cause some concern. In a recent study conducted by University College London and the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, the supervolcano was thoroughly examined. The results show that the structure of the Phlegraean fields has weakened and become more prone to fractures, increasing the likelihood of an eruption. Oh, luckily we have a certain safety distance, right? Oh, wait, I'm in Italy right now. And how did the researchers find out? They applied a model for analyzing volcanic fractures to interpret the patterns of earthquakes and ground uplift. Volcanic fractures are cracks or breaks in the rock that occur due to stresses and changes in pressure within the earth, primarily caused by the buildup of magma, gases, and other volcanic activity. The Italian researcher involved, Stefania Danesi, says, we cannot see what is happening underground. Instead, we have to decipher the clues the volcano gives us, such as earthquakes and ground uplift. And when there are suddenly more and more brittle fractures, it usually doesn't indicate anything good. It's a bit like when your car windshield is full of cracks and fractures, you would probably expect it to shatter completely soon. Unfortunately, volcanoes cannot be repaired in a workshop. During the analysis of volcanic fractures, the volcanologists observed exactly that. Parts of the volcano are already close to their limit of stress, suggesting that the supervolcano is approaching an eruption closer than it has in a very long time. This is also consistent with the volcano's overall behavior because there has been an increasing number of small earthquakes. In April and May of this year alone, more than 1,200 small earthquakes were recorded, the highest number since the beginning of the recordings. 
The ground beneath the city of Pozzuoli, which has already been severely affected centuries ago, is currently rising by about 10 centimeters per year. All of this indicates that magmatic activity is increasing, and the volcano is becoming more and more active. An eruption could happen suddenly because, as the researchers have found, the activity has been slowly increasing since the 1950s. And eventually, the point could be reached where it goes boom. And then? How extensive would the destruction be? Would it reach me here in Sicily? That naturally depends on the strength of the eruption and cannot be generalized. What is certain is that the directly adjacent region, the densely populated areas like Naples, it would be highly endangered, and there would be immense danger to millions of people from the pyroclastic shock, necessitating a large-scale evacuation. Depending on the wind direction, the volcanic ash cloud would also affect areas hundreds of kilometers away. So, here in beautiful Sicily, I wouldn't be exactly safe. About 40,000 years ago, the supervolcano even spewed ash and rocks as far as Egypt and Russia, causing a global winter. If the Phlegraean fields were to detonate in the same way, they would be just as devastating as a Yellowstone eruption. An eruption would obviously not only affect southern Italy, but all of Europe and probably the climate of the entire planet. Let's hope we don't have to find out personally. But I can already hear some of you saying, That's all well and good, but when will it erupt finally? As is the nature of volcanoes, no one knows for sure. However, the new research results show that the risk of a major eruption is as high as it has been in centuries and precise monitoring is really necessary here. The ground uplift and the strength of internal pressure are at unprecedented levels since the beginning of recordings. It is therefore an unknown situation. However, it cannot be completely ruled out that the volcano is currently experiencing a somewhat more active phase and will then calm down again. Professor of Seismology and Volcanic Physics Eleanor Rivalta says, we need to intensify our efforts to better understand the volcano. The increased seismic activity in this seismically active zone is not a reason to panic. So, we have no choice but to continue observing the Campi Flegri, and if suddenly you don't see any new videos from me, then you'll know what happened. Help me out until then by bringing attention to my channel, because YouTube statistics tell me that over half of all viewers haven't subscribed. It helps me a lot, you won't miss any new videos, and it's absolutely free. So, guys, please press that subscribe button once for all. It's summer holiday time in Germany right now and many people might be in Italy like me. I'm in Sicily for a quarter of a year, write me where you went during the summer, because I need some good travel tips for the future. Anyway, because of my proximity, I'm particularly worried about the news on the Phlegraean Fields, a supervolcano in southern Italy in the immediate vicinity of the city of Naples. A few weeks ago a study appeared in which volcanologists concluded that an eruption is becoming more likely as the soil structure above the Campi Phlegri becomes more cracked. Lead author of the study, Christopher Kilburn, says, our new study confirms that the Campi Phlegri are getting closer to eruption. This does not mean that an eruption is guaranteed. The fracture could open a crack through the crust, but magma still needs to be pushed up in the right place for an eruption to occur. I had already created on the general issue surrounding the Phlegraean fields, so you should be in the know if you've been paying attention up to this point. Now there is a little update. Because there is a new study and in it scientists have tried to find out more about the behavior of the Campi Phlegri, so that we can better assess what effects we should be prepared for in case of an eruption. I'll spoil it a bit, the effects could be devastating. How did researchers gain this new information? To learn more about the next eruption, they analyzed the last major eruption. This took place in 1538. It was really something, because the city of Pozzuoli, today a popular holiday resort for tourists, was almost completely destroyed and thousands of people died in the region around Naples. The eruption created a pyroclastic cloud that swept over the city and claimed many victims. And researchers studied a dataset of geological, archaeological and historical data to understand the events surrounding the 16th century eruption. The only eruption that can be analyzed, by the way, 
because there is no reliable data on any other eruption before it. The geologists were even able to analyze the soil changes along the coast of the Gulf of Naples from the years 1515 to 1650. Researcher Eliza Trasati, who was involved, says, it turned out that the eruption was preceded by an intense deformation of the ground, which first affected the Pozzuoli area and then reached the area of the future eruption crater, reaching a height of 20 meters. From this modeling, we can pretty much see what happened at that time. Namely, that the Phlegraean fields didn't quite go through, a volcanological coitus interruptus, so to speak. What am I saying again? There was a magma transfer during the eruption from a 4 km deep source to the Monte Nuovo crater near Pozzuoli. In the following period, i.e. After the eruption, there was another ground uplift, but this did not end in another eruption. Volcanologists also speak of an aborted eruption. So first there was a ground uplift of 20 meters, then the eruption just discussed, which destroyed Pozzuoli, and then there was almost another eruption before the volcano calmed down again. The quintessence that the researchers draw from this is that not every ground uplift necessarily ends in an eruption, but that such aborted eruptions can also happen. And also that not every eruption unfolds the full destructive force possible. For even the violent eruption of 1538 unleashed only a fraction of the forces of the Campi Flegri. Professor Vallejo Acasello, co-author of the new study, says, It is estimated, that the part of the magma that erupted in 1538 is about one hundredth of what accumulated under the volcano between, 1250 and 1650. Just one hundredth. So we clearly see here the strong ability of the Flegrean system, to hold back the magma, and allow only a minimal amount to erupt. Now imagine if not only 100th had erupted, but all of it. Then we would probably have experienced an apocalyptic eruption similar to that of the Campi Flegri. Namely 39,000 years ago. At that time, the entire atmosphere was darkened by ejected material, a global winter was caused and possibly even the extinction of various species. That is the destructive power that the Campi Flegri potentially have. And if the next eruption were such a violent one again, that is exactly what we would face. Molten rock and volcanic gases would be hurled into the stratosphere. The eruption would release so much sulfur and toxic ash that another global winter could be triggered, leading to crop failures and mass extinctions. According to new calculations, tsunamis up to 35.5 meters high would also be realistic. It is already rumored that the government wants to bring about this eruption with a Campi Flegri law in order to still be able to achieve its climate goals. So this shows that we need to monitor this supervolcano closely, because ground uplift has also occurred in previous decades. The ground under Pozzuoli is rising by more than 10 centimeters a year, so the signs are that it is erupting, just as they were almost 500 years ago. The only question is how violent it will be, how much of the magma reservoir will be released, and whether there might be an aborted eruption, as described in the new study. But from this point of view, this new study worries me even more, because it ultimately says that after the eruption of 1538, a second eruption did not occur by a very narrow margin. So the important thing is that if there is an outbreak, we need to be careful in the immediate aftermath to see if there is a follow-on outbreak. I will of course keep you updated on any new findings about the supervolcano, but of course you can only do that if you subscribe to my channel, and as I know from the YouTube statistics, most of you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. It's completely free, it helps me a lot and you won't miss any new videos. So everybody, keep pressing the subscribe button, that would be really galactic. It's not only under southern Italy that something mysterious lurks, but also under Antarctica. Kilometers deep under the thick ice sheet, scientists have made incredible discoveries. The original footage is in the video shown, be sure to check it out and if you want to support the channel, feel free to visit the online shop for your daily dose of t-shirts and plush planets. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care guys.